So I finally did it. I went over to EU from NA like I promised in my last video. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. Life's just been very busy. And yeah, I've seen a few things that I'd just love to share. First things I noticed, my ping went down from like 180 to 10 to 60. It's crazy actually how that happened. And it's funny because for a lot of people, that's a huge positive. I mean, it is a positive. I'll be able to get much higher on my bench numbers and you know be able to react and get more flow in my rotations which is awesome but funny enough some things that you get used to like your dodge timings for say samrock being able to jump over shockwaves change completely i remember last time i actually came over and played a little bit from south africa even just to greece and all of a sudden i was getting hit by like every shockwave because you're just not used to the timings so being able to catch orbs on like doom and like to amalgamate is awesome because before you would run through it and sometimes the orb would just go straight through you and you're like oh flipping hell and now you can just run and you, you've got more of a chance of catching things because what you're seeing on the screen is closer to what's actually happening on server which has been flipping cool and another massive positive is the lfg the lfg is crazy busy i never really played like prime time na so i can't be like oh you use much better but predominantly, I think it's got the reputation that EU's got a lot more activity on the LFG readily available. On NA, you've got like five raid sellers and maybe a wing one if you're lucky that's been posted. On EU, I pop on and there's just like everything, every wing, every challenge mode always happening, which is flipping awesome. And yeah, just not just that, strike missions, fractals, all of that. But I will preference it by saying I don't necessarily think that the Hug level on EU is as good as NA because I think that the people that hug on NA are ridiculously good. I mean, half the time when I with, was friends with you know, raid tellers and things like that, you know, our LFG posts on NA were like shitters only because you know they were at such a level that they could carry. I mean, I couldn't carry, but you know what I'm saying. There's such this vast disparity of like players. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was in a strike mission the other day. The guy was hitting like 37k. I think our subgroup only had like 60% uptime on alacrity. And it wasn't like in the first few seconds. It wasn't like burst. I was stunned how good this player was. I thought, well, he's got to be a snow crow or something because he's a machine. I was the next highest DPS at like a gentleman's 32k. And everybody else was, you know, in the 29s and stuff. So, I mean, I was, I was doing okay comparatively. But compared to this player, I was like, what the sack? Like... It was so good. And it wasn't just that. Like, on every run, there's, like, one guy who's clapping cheeks. And then there's, like, me and then maybe, like, the rest of the group. And it's crazy because, like, I'm not a good player. Like, I like, preference that. I'm, I'm, I'm decent. I'm average. I can bench between, like, 80 to 90% on most classes. A couple of classes, I can bench above 90%. So, I'm not a really good player. But the disparity is crazy because you'll have, like, that player. And then you'll have players that are just, like, dragging the heels. And um, also, one thing that really, really surprised me, okay, I've only been on for like two weeks, is that a lot of players will like be like super high DPS, but they'll fail like the most basic mechanics on like a raid or a fractal, which is so weird to me. Maybe it's like the greed factor, but I don't think so. I think it's actually like they're good at pushing buttons, but they're not necessarily like mechanically sharp. And that was another thing that surprised me so much is that like on NA, if you have like two, three failed pulls, the group just basically disbands. They're like, that guys don't know what they're doing. On EU, I I'm, I kid you not, I'm like, I'm astonished at the perseverance of a lot of the players. They're just willing to go at it again and again and again until we get it, you know, whether we have to change up a few things, you know, take more survivability, utility, things like that. And that is crazy to me. Like, that has definitely been quite a, a culture shock, I would say. But then again, I mean, I'm generalizing. Perhaps on NA at peak hours, there are some groups like this. But every single group I've been on on EU has been kind of a bit of an experience. But yeah, I'd say in summary, I think that there is a lot more life on EU in terms of your LFG, your pug status, things like that. You know, NA is all about private discords. You know, if you want to do, you know, fractals to a very high degree, there are discords that train. And, teach. you know, if you want to raid to a high degree, there are discords that train and teach. And then there's ones after that and after that and after that until eventually you get into, you know, I don't know, Raid League and things like that. But before that, there's, there's so much in Discords where I feel like EU is all out on LFG, you know. You do obviously have, you know, higher tier and static content on EU. But, like, you just don't feel that with the LFG. 
other than that, I would say that the communities on EU and NA are both very good. Like, I would say if you join an LFG or Pug on most, you can throw banter backwards and forwards and the guys are always willing to have a laugh and a go. And I found the exact same thing on EU, you know. We were joking so much on the freaking Doom, you know, because we had a couple of funny pulls and things like that. And uh, the guys didn't exactly on, you know, statues know what zero five 5 meant. So it was quite funny because we were all joking because I think there was one or two guys also in a Discord trying to teach these other guys. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a fun time. Let me just put it out there. I don't think that one community is better than the other. I don't think that NA is better than EU and EU better than NA. I think that Guild Wars is a very lucky game. I feel like the community in general is really good. I feel like there's so much content and I think it, for me it's more just being able to find groups doing all those mini content things, you know, because sometimes you might struggle to do find a group doing that raid or that meta or, you know, those things. And I think that's one thing that EU has above NA many of you don't know who the accent is or maybe you do absolute god tier druid he was pretty much one of my main inspirations when i started playing the game and uh he ran an event trying to you know save na and try basically bring more hug life to the raid scene you know even maybe the strike scene i can't remember exactly the event and basically we just tried to run as much lfg and just train and teach and just create this culture it's very hard on na because i think a lot of people play off and um, I play a lot of other MMOs and I play some on NA and some on EU. Like I think I play WoW on EU, I play ESO on EU, things like that. And then I play other games like Lord of the Rings, uh, Star Wars, all of that I've been playing on NA. And you definitely notice the difference of an NA server to an EU server in terms of pug life. And also, and there's this massive perfection cycle in certain player base. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, name certain countries, but some countries good button pushers like they really do put a lot of other countries to shame in terms of how good their dps is and it's always fun to play and see the different people and <laughs> and be in different groups anyway to bring it back to the deaxon story so he ran the event for a couple of weeks and it was amazing like we, we we had a good time there was so many runs you know doom cms things like that and this was back in the day when dps was a lot lower so it was really awesome to experience people and expose people to that sort of content and anyway, so the event ended and unfortunately the LFG on NA just kind of went back to how it was. A very few runs, things like that. And a couple of months later, or you know, years later, someone posted on the Discord, when are we saving NA again? It was really funny because, you know, that was, uh, it was supposed to be kind of a cultural shift, which unfortunately just didn't really happen on NA. I mean, it could still happen and I would love to see it happen. I would love to see more pug runs and trying to get raiding or into people's you know radar because a lot of players don't even bother because they've had bad experiences in other games and raiding on you know, guild wars and i don't want to make this raiding video but there is kind of this kind of like stigma to it you shouldn't you shouldn't have it it's not that hard like i said before there's tons of like discords if you are interested raid academy i think it's raid initiative on eu and other a couple of other ones doing you know things a lot of stuff but yeah, everything about this video has been pretty subjective as well. So I could be completely wrong. Your experience could be completely different to my experience. You might be on EU and say, hell, oh, that's not even close to right. And you could be on NA and be like, bro, you got to wake when all the good stuff's happening. So, But yeah, this has just been my quick catch up video to let you know I'm still jamming. I'm still carrying on. I did follow through with my last video. I did leave NA, wasn't clickbait. And I'm enjoying EU. I play pretty much most of the time. I'm not necessarily streaming Guild Wars as much. I kind of, mostly if I do stream, I'm streaming a lot of Lotro, but maybe that will switch and I'll start streaming Guild Wars a bit more. Come hang out, you know, help me, join me in some groups, things like that. I'm always keen to jam. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed kind of my content and series, like, subscribe, all those awesome things. If you didn't enjoy it, please. Thank you for watching anyway, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. And also, I've really wanted to make my YouTube channel not just necessarily Guild Wars, but also an adventure of different guides, different series, and also me going through it all. And so basically, I also want to make some more guide videos, but also just make some random videos. Like, I've basically been working on a video where I'm basically trying to play DPS in Fractals, because all my life I either played Heelbrand or, you know, Alacrin or something, or... I don't know, a like mech or something like that. So I'm really trying to push in. So maybe I'll make those videos and such. And if those of you are interested, check them out. I know it's not going to be my usual content, but 
also i mean life's a kind of a bit of a journey so i don't want to get too funneled into like guides gold guides player guides all those sorts of things but anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video cheers